back, everyone, or welcome in, as we say. Uh, my name is Vicki Oleski. I'm here with Karani Marie. And Karani, uh, we are co-hosting a beautiful retreat in Sedona, October 31st. This is uh, another short little snippet interview describing our retreat, the Underworld Womb Temple Retreat, day two. Part of my suggestion was to really talk a little bit about what the underworld is. And so would you like to begin and then I can go and then you can describe our second day to the person who's watching, listening? Sure. So if, if you're journeying with us into the underworld, we're going to be opening up portals so that we can all journey into the essence of who we are. And that means the parts of us that we've ignored, abandoned, um, dis, you know, disowned and uh, um, orphaned even in a way. So it's about reclaiming yourself. When you go to the underworld, you get to reclaim more of you. You get to connect to more of you and you get to bring that back into life in a profound way where you discover more love for yourself. So that's my uh, invitation to join us in the underworld. Ah, yes, beautiful. One of the things that I really feel the underworld has been about for me is going within and how that has reflected the understanding of ascension is like ascension to me never really meant going that way. It meant going this way to rediscover parts of myself that I was feeling around for, but couldn't quite experience because of the distractions of the external world. So the underworld for me is really a time place capsule within to really d rediscover those those parts that I was were kind of tracking me and I couldn't kind of get them. Yeah. Right, right. It is a journey and an individual one for sure, but one worth taking. Oh. And our day two. So we're all going to be in Sedona together because that's where the retreat is. Yay. Yay. <laughs> and so describe what our second day is going to look like. Our second day is the fullest day. It's, it's going to be an introduction to the land in Sedona. We're going to go down to the creek. We're going to connect with nature, with the water energies, with the spirit world. And all, everything that we're going to do, we're going to have you uh, be aware of what parts of you are showing up and what parts of you are hiding so that we can start working with those parts to bring them to life when we step into the womb. We're going to go to a place called Tlacopaki. It's a reproduction of an old village in Mexico. And we're going there because this weekend is a celebration of Dio de los Muertos, the Day of the Dead. And I want you to have that experience because the day, of, you know, when we think dead, it's like, it is like going into the underworld. It's like life, death, and birth happening. So it's a celebration of our ancestors. Uh, they talk about the veils being the thinnest at that time, which is going to be great for us going into the underworld cave and womb. So we'll be visiting there. And then when we come back to, to the sanctuary here, we will actually be um, starting to build our altar for Dio de los Muertos, for your ancestors. Mm -hmm. So we'll be asking you to bring an image of someone you like to honor and think about the food that they love because we'll be preparing a feast including all the food for all the ancestors to celebrate them. Um, we will also be going into the womb that day. We will go on a journey, have a ceremony in there, and you will be bringing your chalice, your gourd chalice with you to have it initiated in the womb. And uh, we will end with our feast 
after our womb journey to celebrate ourselves and the ancestors. That's beautiful. As you were describing, I was um, number one remembering that going to the creek is a really special thing. Mm -hmm. Water in Sedona is the same water throughout the entire globe. And I think the idea that I was feeling is the understanding of our ancestors understood that and the connection that that will be bringing to each of us individually, but also globally. So I, I really am excited for this day too. I'd like I to add something, Vicki. Did I interrupt you? I apologize. No, if go I for it, honey. Okay. Um, I wanted to also um, expand upon that your womb journey, the underworld womb journey, will include a orientation on the land here at my sanctuary. Mm -hmm. It will include you visiting with the medicine wheel, which we'll talk more about at this at the retreat. It will include um, a spiral to coming back to your center. It will include a place on the land for creating the mandala of life and death and that dance be back and forth. And so there's a preparation and it is a real journey before you are ready to actually enter the portal through the birth canal and into the womb. So I wanted to expand on that a little bit. Thank you. I I was curious, uh, like, because I'll be there, we'll, we're co-hosting this. Will we be, we'll be gathering on your property, the sanctuary where the underworld uh, temple is. Will we be walking the, the labyrinth before we actually go into the underworld cave? Is that? It's a preparation. It's a journey. Right. Um, okay. Going yeah. in and out of the womb temple is not just a, let me see it or let's just walk in. It, there's a whole preparation of yourself with the connection to your nature, to Mother Earth, and um, preparation. So you are um, open. You are in a position of receiving. You are in a position of allowing and letting go. So yes, it isn't just you walk in. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for uh, clarifying that. Okay. Well, lovely. We will see you back in the next third intro to our third day at the Underworld Womb Temple in Sedona. It starts on October 31st and it goes through November 3rd. Thank you, Connie Marie. You're welcome. Looking forward to seeing you guys.